Hello everyone, uh, Ori Bloop here. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Uh, this is going to be actually kind of, like, it's going to be pretty quick, honestly. Um, there's not too much to cover, but um, I'll go ahead and explain everything uh, the best I can. But this is a uh, tutorial on dashing. So basically, you know, moving in a direction, you know, fast, basically, like a dash. You guys know what a dash is. Um, but... That's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. Uh, it should be pretty simple, but let's go ahead and get right into it. So we're going to go to edit and we will be making a third person camera. Um, this works with actually uh, all types of cameras, uh, but I'm going to be using third person in this case just to kind of uh, show you guys really easily because I think third person is, is really easy to, to show. Um, but for, we're going to have a jump in this just so I can kind of um, show you guys. And we're going to take our camera and, oh, not our camera screen, uh, just our regular camera object and connect that to our player. Uh, you guys know the drill for this. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry if, you, if you've seen this so many times, but I got to include it for the new players. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and connect that. And for the camera, uh, Y to 250 and Z to uh, 4. Okay. Um, so if we go ahead and go in the game, there we go. We have our third person camera set up and we can push A to jump. Um, so let's go ahead and actually, uh, get right into the dash mechanic. Um, so with our dash, we're going to want to push, um, X, uh, in order to dash. So the first thing that we're going to want is, uh, we're going to take out our teleport objects, um, our entrance and our exit. Uh, basically what this is doing is... It's going, it's going to be teleporting us uh, basically in the same position, uh, except we will be launching ourselves from the exit. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to first connect our X to our uh, teleport object entrance, and we're going to put that over there. And what we have to do is we're going to connect the entrance and the exit to our person because it's going to be both uh, getting the position of our person. So, um, with our X button, what we're going to want to do is, uh, put this on press because what will happen is if we hold down X, we will still be dashing. So we'll basically constantly be dashing. And obviously we, we don't want that because people will just hold it down and then you'll be dashing the entire time, but, um, it will just be on press. And for the teleport uh, object entrance, we will be teleporting uh, neither of these, just our person. And um, and then for our uh, teleport object exit, uh, what we need to do is we're not preserving any physics. We are going to be resetting them. And then uh, we can set our launch speed uh, basically to anything. You guys could kind of experiment with it. Um, and then for our launch direction, uh, this is where it gets really fun, but, uh, you can do any direction that you want to, but since this is a dash, it's going to just be basically forward. Um, so we're going to do Z plus. So if we go ahead and go in the game, uh, we should be able to move around. You can see that our, uh, teleport object box is in our character, but if we push X, uh, it doesn't look like it's, oh, <laughs> It's going backwards, so uh, we need to do uh, Z minus. Sorry about that. Um, Z minus. So now if we go ahead and do Z and push X, there we go. We have a little dash. Um, we can, of course, if we wanted to, if we wanted to make the dash uh, longer or um, get us more distance, we can, of course, increase the launch speed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just to really show you guys. And... Um, yeah, there we go. That looks a lot better. Um, and also, if we can go ahead and press A and then dash, we can get a lot of distance from that. Um, you guys could really put this in any type of game because this works with anything that includes the person node on. Um, and it gets really cool when you uh, start messing with the launch directions because uh, let's say we wanted to, for whatever reason, we wanted to like do kind of like a strafing mechanic. We can go ahead and press X and we'll like teleport to the side. Um, so you guys can really, you know, use this um, to 
to your advantage in, in your games. And then also uh, with Y plus, we can launch ourselves in the air. So I'll go ahead and show that. So if we push X, we'll get really launched up in the air. Um, like if you want to do like a super jump or something. So uh, it, it doesn't have to just be dash, but people have been asking mostly for the dash mechanic. So uh, there you guys go. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was kind of quick. Hopefully I didn't go too fast, but um, keep, you know, commenting, suggesting uh, different tutorials. I'm, I'm constantly taking new ideas and constantly trying to uh, come up with new tutorials. But uh, thank you guys for watching again and uh, have a good day.